Hi, my name is Jason Schaefer, and I'm the principal clarinetist of your Colorado Symphony, and I am here with Ian Weiskohl, oboist and professor at the University of Denver's Lamont School of Music. We are here in our home together and excited to bring you this week's edition of the new series, From Our Home to Yours. For our performance, we've picked some of our favorite works that feature the clarinet and the oboe. The first piece we're going to play for you is one of a series of remarkable duets by Wilhelm Friedemann Bach, who was the eldest son of the famous Johann Sebastian Bach. While Wilhelm Friedemann, like all his brothers, was trained in counterpoint by his father, Friedemann really takes this counterpoint idea to its limit in these, uh, in these duets. The, the voices are so interconnected, it's always hard to tell who's playing first part or second part, and the melody switches back so frequently sometimes that I'll have the melody for just two or three notes before it's handed to the clarinet. We hope you enjoy this third of these duets. the second and final movement from the Sonatina by composer Miklos Roja. 
This fabulous piece was specifically written for unaccompanied clarinet, and it certainly needs no additional instruments. It's very energetic and powerful music. Roja was a Hungarian composer, and he was best known for his film scores. Actually, he wrote about a hundred of them. And it's perhaps that film experience that's the reason why Roja has such a gift for writing great melodies. This second movement of his sonatina is a virtuosic wild ride for the clarinet alone. we're going to perform is a short piece from the grand tradition of contest pieces from the Paris Conservatory. Um, the Paris Conservatory is the oldest conservatory in the world and just as back when this piece was written in 1898 as in today, if you want to graduate from the Paris Conservatory, you have to play that year's contest piece for your instrument and you have to do it well enough that the entire faculty votes unanimously in your favor. A lot of these pieces end up being very flashy and sometimes a little bit shallow, but this piece allows the oboes to play, as well as some technical things, some really beautiful lyrical melodies. As an aside, you might remember that 
in Jason Schaefer's bio for the symphony, it says that he studied piano at Eastman and loves to accompany other musicians. You'll get to find out now whether any of that's true.
So, after those two very intense solo works, we'd like to end with something lighthearted and fun. A duet from a Mozart opera. So now you obviously can see that we don't have a full opera cast here right now, but arrangements for two flutes or two violins, for example, of famous operatic melodies were very popular in the 18th and 19th centuries. And in fact, the arrangement that we are about to play was written by Mozart himself. It is from The Magic Flute, which was certainly one of his most popular operas. This duet, Der Vogelfänger bin ich ja, is an aria sung by the character Papageno. He describes his life as a simple bird catcher, and he's singing of his hope to find a pretty girl to love and cherish. Thank you so much for tuning in today to listen to our performance. Just one more quick thing. At the Colorado Symphony, we believe that music is truly meaningful during difficult times, and we, the musicians, are fully committed to play on. But we can't do it without your support. If you're able, we ask that you consider donating at coloradosymphony.org so that we can keep the music playing now and into the future. We are so appreciative of your generosity, and with your support in any and all forms, we will continue to play on. <laughs>